the Yakovlev Yak-38, only operational VTOL strike aircraft of the Soviet Navy. Soviet Naval Aviation was the naval aviation arm of the Soviet Navy. The regular Soviet Naval Aviation units were created in 1918. In the mid-1930s, the Soviets created the Naval Air Force in the Baltic Fleet, the Black Sea Fleet and the Soviet Pacific Fleet. The importance of naval aviation had grown significantly by 1938 to 1940, to become one of the main components of the Soviet Navy. The Morskaya Aviatsiya was the Soviet Navy's air service during World War II. Such air units provided air support to the Vyano Morskoy Flot SSSR in the theaters of operations in the Barents, Baltic and Black Seas and also to the Soviet Naval Detachment in the Sea of Okhotsk. Naval aviation provided some air cover to Allied convoys bringing equipment to Soviet forces from North Sea to the Barents Sea and via the Pacific Ocean to the Sea of Okhotsk. During the war, naval aviation delivered an immense blow to the enemy in terms of sunken ships and crews two and a half times more than any other unit of the Soviet Navy. 17 naval aviation units were honored with the title of the Soviet Guards, while 241 men were awarded with the title of the Hero of the Soviet Union. To attack surface ships at long ranges, the Soviet Navy was unique in deploying large numbers of bombers in a maritime role for use by naval aviation. With the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, Russian naval aviation was established as the force's main successor. The Yakovlev Yak-38 was the Soviet naval aviation's only operational VTOL strike fighter aircraft in addition to being its first operational carrier-based fixed-wing aircraft. It was developed specifically for, and served almost exclusively on, the Kiev-class aircraft carriers. Designed by the AS Yakovlev Design Bureau JSC, the first drawings showed a supersonic aircraft strongly resembling the Hawker P.1154 in study in the United Kingdom, but with two R27-300 engines. Supersonic performance would have implied many difficulties of development, and it was decided to initially develop a relatively simple aircraft limited to Mach 0.95. Although the Yak-38 and Yak-38M were developed from the land-based Yakovlev Yak-36, the aircraft had almost nothing in common. Though outwardly similar to the British Hawker Siddeley Harrier, it followed a completely different configuration. Together with a vectorable thrust engine in the rear used during flight, two smaller, and less powerful, engines were housed in the front portion of the fuselage and used purely for takeoff and landing. If one of the takeoff engines failed or the aircraft rolled past 60 degrees the pilot was automatically ejected from the aircraft. The majority of Yak-36M initial production deliveries were to the 279 OK Shap, initially based at Sake, the AVMF's training center in Crimea. In July 1979, Minsk arrived in the Sea of Japan, where the vessel was home ported at Strelok Bay, the Yak-38 component of its air wing thereafter being provided by the 311 OK Shap subordinate to the Pacific Fleet. In September 1982, Novorossiysk, the third Kiev-class carrier, was commissioned. By now the V-Stole technique had been well practiced, and the resulting increase in the Yak-38's overall performance and capability was exploited during the passage of Novorossiysk from Severomorsk to join the Pacific Fleet. A pair of armed Yak-38s operating from Minsk intercepted aircraft from the U.S. carrier Enterprise over the Arabian Sea on 16 December 1982. This event marked the first time Soviet VTOL aircraft intercepted American aircraft while armed with missiles. In a maritime context, the Yak-38 was not limited to the decks of Kiev. In September 1983, AVMF pilots operated from the civilian RORO vessel Agostino Netu, and Ni VVS pilots conducted further tests from another RORO vessel, Nikolai Cherkasov. In both cases, use was made of a heat-resistant landing platform. Further land-based trials tested the practicality of dispersed landing platforms, in a similar concept to the British Royal Air Force's Harrier operations in West Germany. The initial pre-production version, differing slightly from the Yak-38. It weighed only 6,650 kilograms compared to the Yak-38's 7,370 kilograms and the engines were slightly less powerful. Yak-38, Forger A. The Yak-38 was the first production model, it first flew on 15 January 1971, and entered service with the Soviet Naval Aviation on of August 1976. Yak-38M, Forger A. The Yak-38M was an upgraded version of the Yak-38, the main difference being the new Tumansky R-28V-300 in Ribinsk Road 38 engines. The maximum takeoff weight in VTOL was increased from 10,300 kg to 11,300 kg in short takeoff mode. 
The air intakes were slightly widened and the underwing pylons reinforced to carry a 2,000 pounds weapons load. The Yak-38M entered service with the Soviet Naval Aviation after June 1985, a total of 50 Yak-38M being produced. Yak-38U, Forger B, two-seat training version of the Soviet Naval Aviation. This version differed from the basic aircraft in having an enlarged fuselage to accommodate a two-seat cockpit. The Yak-38U entered service on 15 November 1978, a total of 38 Yak-38U being produced, with the 38th aircraft being delivered in 1981. Multi-role VTOL fighter attack aircraft project dating from 1983, employing one R-28V-302 Road 48 engines, PRNK-39 avionics suite, S-41D multi-mode radar, larger wing, increased fuel capacity and expanded weapons options based around Shikval or Kara PGM designation systems. Power plant. One Tumansky R-28V-300 vectored thrust turbofan engine, 66.7 kN thrust for lift and cruise thrust. Power plant. Two Ribinsk Road 38 turbojet engines, 31.9 kN thrust each lift jets in FWD fuselage behind the cockpit. Service ceiling. 11,000 meters. Rate of climb. 75 meters per second. Carried in one or two pairs of UPK 23 to 250 pods fixed under the external pylons of wings. There was also a center-mounted ventral, integrated gun pod developed, designated as the VSPU-36. This also contained a GSH-23L gun, but its ammunition supply consisted of 160 rounds instead of the 250 as on the UPK-23-250 wing pods.